pillows can really add a lot of color to the room and bring some comfort. You know, one of my favorite design principles is color. Color is wonderful and it can change the mood of a room. If you look at a room, we've all been in one, where they have lots of different colors going on, can just make your head spin. But if you go into a room where it's more monochromatic, let's just say for instance it's all white and cream, you feel very different, you feel very tranquil. Let's just say you don't want a totally monochromatic room. Where is the balance? Take this room for instance. Let me just use it as an example. In this room, I tried to use a very limited color palette. You don't have to use every color in the crayon box, you know. So limit it to just a few colors. I just want to show you how you can keep it a little more monochromatic, or you can add a bump of color, sort of give it a little spark. Sometimes these are beautiful seasonal changes. And one of the easiest way to do this is to just use a throw across the back of a sofa or add some pillows. So let's take a broader view at this room. And let me show you where I've applied those colors that I listed. For instance, you have gray walls. The floor is brown brick. On the floor is this braided rug. There's where the blue comes in. But it's not just blue, there is some brown and gold. And then with this large stool in the center, there's the blue again. And then I have these houndstooth chairs on either side that are cream and brown, which brings us to these large sofas, which are cream. And now I'm gonna add some brown. You see, by just taking these big, bold blocks of color like this, it gives some life to this. Still monochromatic, still harmonious, still working within the color range that I have here. So why don't we take a look at some ways that you can bump the room up a little bit. Okay, so let's can the chocolate colored pillows. They're pretty, but to me, they're a little boring. You could bump it up with some woven fabric like this, where you bring in a little bit of the red and the gold. So here's the gold. You see the gold and the braided rug. I'm kind of liking this. You look up here at the art, you can see largely this piece of art follows all the colors we talked about. There's the cream, the brown, the touches of blue, but look at this red and gold. So we're taking a lead from this picture and we're creating a color echo where these colors resonate with the pillows. Also, if you look at the brick of the chimney, distinctly red, and we're carrying that color over here to the sofa. So maybe just a little too traditional, you wanna bump it up a little more? Let me show you what I have in store. Now, take a look at these. I love these natural prints where they've taken and used really intense colors on them. A butterfly here and a bird here. I like it, I like it. You've got the blue, you've got the brown, you've got the cream, and again, those touches of red. This time, they're not the brick reds that we found in the geometric pattern pillows, but here, these are much brighter. That brighter intensity will really capture your eye when you come into the room. Now, these are just a few basic ideas about color theory and how they can make a room look and how that room makes you feel. If you're enjoying these updates on style, check in with me regularly and subscribe to eHow Home.